We've been talking about resonation. We've been talking about that there is a sound in heaven. Actually, there's two sounds in the spirit. And those two sounds are there because there's two bloods. Those two bloods are the blood of Abel and the blood of Christ. The blood of Abel cries out vengeance. The blood of Jesus cries out forgiveness. One cries out what you do is who you are. And if you do wrong, you are judged. The other cries out who you are will change what you do. And who you are is why you're loved. And you are never going to not be loved. You are loved unconditionally. That's the sound of the voice that comes out of the blood of Jesus. Now the blood of Abel we find in Genesis 3. And we find it in the context of two brothers comparing one doing good and being approved, one not doing so good and not being approved. The approval produced a promotion for Abel. But the approval of what he did made promotion. But the acceptance of both young men never changed. God loved both of them unconditionally. They were both valuable to him. It didn't matter what had happened that day. That didn't change who they are. What you do does not make who you are. Who you are changes what you do. And this is where we need to get the revelation of the sound of unconditional love. The first temptation in the garden was the serpent saying, if you eat this, you will be like God. If you do, you will be. If you do, you will be. That's the temptation. God's order is if you are, it will change what you do. You see, your value is always the same. If I were to take a $100 bill, and I were to say, how many want this $100 bill? Oh, lots of people would say, I want that. Uh, email me and tell me you want it, okay? But now wait, 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 wait. I want to do something first. Let me, uh, I'm going to wad this $100 bill up, okay? All right. Now, how many want this $100 bill? I have a feeling it's the same amount of people that still want this wadded up $100 bill. Now, wait a minute. I'm going to stomp on this $100 bill. Now, I've got a smudged up, crinkled up $100 bill. It's dirty, it's wrinkled, ugh, yuck. How many want this $100 bill? I have a feeling I'd get the same number of emails. I think I'd get the same number of uh, subscribers to our channel to get this $100 bill. You have just said in your own mind what I'm trying to tell you. You have said no matter how crinkled and dirty and smudged this dollar, $100 bill has become, it has never lost its value. I am here to tell you, no matter how broken your past has been, no matter how hurt, no matter how smudged you have become because of things that have been done to you, or even things you have done, you have never lost your value to God. He loves you unconditionally. And when you can receive that love, you can let that love flow through you to others. You can resonate with the sound of heaven. Well, what are you waiting on? Turn me off and start resonating.